Hello again. In this video, I will complete the story of cephalosporin. I will talk about the fourth generation cephalosporin and fifth generation cephalosporin. Fourth generation cephalosporins. Cefepim is the only available fourth generation cephalosporin. It is penetrated well into cerebrospinal fluid. It's cleared by the kidney and must be administered parenterally, so available as vial. Antimicrobial activity. Cefepim has a wide antibacterial spectrum with activity against tryptococci and staphylococci but only those that are methicillin susceptible Cefepim is also effective against aerobic gram negative organisms such as enterobacter species Escherichia coli, Klebsiella pneumonia, Proteus mirabilis and Pseudomonas aeruginosa is highly active against Haemophilus and Neisseria. Because of a broad spectrum activity, CPPM is commonly used empirically in patients presenting with febrile neutropenia in combination with other agents. The standard dose for CPPM is 1 to 2 grams infused every 12 hours. However, when treating more complicated infection due to Pseudomonas aeruginosa or in the setting of immunocompromised, doses are typically increased to 2 grams every 8 hours. CPFIM for injection should be administered intravenously over approximately 30 minutes. Fifth generation cephalosporine or known as advanced generation cephalosporine cephetraline is a broad spectrum advanced generation cephalosporine. It is only beta-lactam in the United States with activity against methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. It is indicated for the treatment of complicated skin and skin structure infection and community acquired pneumonia at dose 600 mg infused every 12 hours by intravenous infusions over 1 hour. Antimicrobial activity, the unique structures allow cefetraline to bind to penicillin binding proteins found in the methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus and penicillin resistant Streptococci pneumonia. In addition to its broad gram positive activity, it has similar gram negative activity to the third generation cephalosporin cefetraxone. Important gaps in coverage include Pseudomonas aeruginosa and beta-lactamase producing enterobacteriaceae and a cenobacter. Cephetraline is primarily excreted renally and requires dose adjustment in renal impairment. Dose and administration CPPM present as IV or IM dose form. Adult dose 1 to 2 grams every 8 to 12 hours. Pediatric dose 100 or 150 milligrams per kilograms per day. Cephetraline is present as IV dose form, adult dose 600 mg every 12 hour. Cephetraline and Tazobactam, which known as Zerbexa, initial United States approval at 2014. This drug is manufactured by the Merck. The bacterial action of this medication results from inhibitions of cell wall biosynthesis. Tazobactam sodium has little clinical relevance in vitro activity against bacteria due to its reduced affinity to penicillin binding protein. It is an irreversible inhibitor of some beta lactamase. Indication of Zyrbexa that are used in the treatment of complicated intra-abdominal infection with metronidazole and Zyrbexa can be used for urinary tract infection including pyelonephritis. The dose of Zyrbexa is 1.5 grams every 8 hours.
Thank you for watching. Kindly like this video and subscribe. Bye. See you later.